This is the scaphoid shift test to um, test the integrity of the scapholunate ligament. So what we have to do first is we bring the patient in ulnar deviation, which then extends the scaphoid. So we find the distal tubercle of the scaphoid and apply pressure with the thumb over the distal uh, the uh, tubercle of the scaphoid, preventing its flexion as we bring the wrist back into radial deviation. So we want to prevent scaphoid flexion, which would normally happen with the radial deviation. So if the therapist wins, so basically if we can prevent the scaphoid from flexing, which will actually then provoke a uh, dorsal subluxation of the scaphoid over the distal lip of the radius, that would then indicate that there's complete dissociation of the scaphoid ligament.